It's Tuesday, it is the 1st of August, and today I wanted to start something brand new on this channel, something that I've wanted to do for a while, something that I've actually tried out a little bit over on Patreon, and the feedback and encouragement that I got over there really has helped me crack on with this and get it out there. So it's gonna be like a vlog, but it's also gonna be like a sketchbook flip through. I thought I would combine those two things to show what I do and what I draw, show some of the behind the scenes of the art making process and also just how it all fits into life in general. So that's pretty much it for the intro. I am today gonna start working on some drawings based on things I did in July. So basically back in July, I had a few ideas for drawings and things I wanted to do, but I didn't really have time to get around to them because I was working so hard on my Mexico travel journal. So now that that's done, I finished it yesterday. Now that that's done, I am gonna start working on just a few bits and bobs of drawings that were inspired by things I did in July. So the very first thing is I would like to draw something to do with Brainchild, which is the festival that I went to right at the beginning of the month. And there's a ton of other stuff that I could draw inspiration from from July, but if I did that, then I would be catching up on my July drawings for the whole of August and so on and so on. So I think the only other thing that I will draw based on stuff from July will be something to do with my day at the Lambeth Country Show, which is a local fair type thing. They've got stalls and animals and live music. Uh, I actually got to see the Hot 8 Brass Band, who are a group from New Orleans, who I absolutely adore, and they performed one of my favourite songs of theirs, which is a cover of Sexual Healing by Marvin Gaye. They also played Love Will Tear Us Apart, which is another great one. So I will hopefully try and draw something to do with that, and then I'll be ready to start drawing things as they happen in August. Another thing I want to work on is just develop an idea for a painting that I want to film tomorrow. It's been a long time since I have done like a proper piece on my channel, it's been a lot of sketchbook work, so it's kind of daunting to think about, but I'm just going to take it one step at a time, maybe brainstorm some ideas, um, draw some thumbnails and do some studies maybe if I need to. 
But before all that, just got a delivery from Jackson's Art Supplies, which is um, an art supply store here in the UK. They have a shop in London. And I ordered some stuff from them yesterday. So let's see what I've got. Right, so the first thing is this casein. It's a paint that I'm going to start using to prime my pages. I've seen James Gurney use it a lot under his gouache paintings. Um, one of the problems that I have with gouache painting is that the paint dries so quickly so it makes it quite hard to work with. This should help to stop it absorbing into the page so much. I got a few of these, so there's this one which is in the colour dark green. Um, the brand is Pelican or is Pelican. Um, it's just the first one that I stumbled upon on the uh, Jackson's Art website, so I'm not sure if it's any good. The second one is just a white one. They're all matte, by the way, as well, so hopefully it won't affect the page too much. Um, and then there's also this light blue one as well, so we'll see if it makes a difference with my gouache paintings. I'll let you guys know. What else have I got? It's exciting. Uh, uh, I got some new brushes. These are the Jackson's um, like own brand ones. These ones are synthetic watercolour brushes. I got the 8, the, uh, what's that, 0.3 and, and the 0. So um, hopefully going to try and take good care of these so they don't get ruined. I love a good new brush. It just makes such a difference to your work, the crispness of your lines and things. And just having your paint grow up right how you want it to. Um, and I think these are more brushes. Yeah, so this is a four brush set as well. Same kind of thing, it's the same synthetic own brand brushes. I just wanted to widen up my collection a bit. So I've got three round brushes. These were round brushes as well, by the way. Um, I've got a four, a six, and a two. And then I also have four rigger brush as well. So quite a mix of brushes there. Okay, and then the final thing, I think, yeah, the last thing is this Stillman and Burn sketchbook. My Mexico Travel Journal was in a Stillman and Burn sketchbook. I have tried the Zeta and Beta series. Um, this is an alpha, so it's cheaper, and I think the pages are a bit thinner, but they're still um, great for mixed media, apparently. And I loved my previous two, so after I'm done with the Mossery sketchbook that I'm using at the moment, this will be my next one. So yeah, I'm looking forward to using all of those things, getting my hands dirty with those, and seeing what I can do with it all. But first things first, time to come up with an idea for tomorrow's painting. No 88 shadows to have. It's just different. I can't explain it in any other way than I, that I don't know how to explain it. My biggest complaint with these palettes. I just opened this today. So these are the uh, preliminary sketches that I came up with um, and here is the brainstorm I did. Um, I have quite a basic way of brainstorming, it just works for me where I'll sort of write just what I'm thinking. So I wrote what do I want, um, I wanted to do something in gouache with some nice colours and detail and then I thought so what is detailed, what is colourful, a pattern um, and then I thought I could do a leaf pattern. I knew I didn't want to draw any kind of scene and then I all of a sudden thought pig as a head flower. So it's so weird to even just look back on this and think what was I thinking um, and then I came up with piggy peonies and thought of doing like a bunch of peonies with a little pig's head popping out um, but kind of blending in. So that's where these peony paintings and drawings came from. I wanted to try out that minimal painting style, so just using a flat brush and kind of doing that one stroke technique, which was really, really loads of fun. I really enjoyed that. So, um, and then these were some drawings that I had um, from a while ago, that I did a while ago, and they were just on a bit of scrap paper that I found in the drawer, so I stuck those in as well. Um, 
and then here you can see the first little piggy I quite like that one and then um, this one as well which I wasn't as keen on again these are all just rough ideas I did these all really really quickly and then here I was just looking at a couple of pictures of pigs to see about their faces and things. I quite like the simplicity of that little guy there. Um, and then over here I was testing the casein uh, for the first time. So this white, blue and that green are all casein and then on top of is gouache and I wanted to see how well um, the paint would go down on it. Um, this time it wasn't very successful. I think I did the casein maybe a bit too thick um, and over here I tried a little patch as well because uh, I wanted to see if I could have the gouache on there kind of watery, like a wash, but I found it kind of pulled in a weird way. So those were my experiments. So that was actually about a week ago that I did those preliminary drawings and paintings. Um, as I said, I wanted to film the actual video the next day um, and I did try filming that day but it just wasn't coming together how I wanted it to. So I, um, I kind of just scrapped that video and moved on um, and I kind of just scrapped the whole idea for a little while. Um, I struggled a little bit to come up with something that I felt like happy with like I said it's kind of daunting to be coming back to making these speed paintings and stuff and I kind of have almost forgotten like what I like in paintings and what I what I want to paint and, and stuff like that so yeah it's been like a bit of a crisis week and then I today just kind of pulled it all back and thought about how much I enjoyed just painting those peonies in my sketchbook and I thought why not just make a painting out of that think about the colors and just simplify things a little bit. It doesn't have to be the most amazing thing in the world, it just has to be something that I like. So I did that today and I really enjoyed it. Um, I finally managed to film and I'm feeling so good about it. This is how it turned out. I'm thinking that I might um, maybe make this into stickers. I think I'm quite getting into sticking a sticker on the front of each sketchbook now and I think that this would make quite a nice one. And then straight after I filmed that I actually filmed another video for my channel, a planner note-taking video. I don't normally film back-to-back -back like that just because I do find it like weirdly tiring um, and I feel like after a certain point I get really sloppy, I just feel completely like out of it and the standard kind of drops and then I only kind of realise it when I'm at the editing stage and it's really difficult to string together something decent. But I'm quite glad, I'm quite glad that I did that today just because it's about four o'clock now and I have a lot of footage that I can now just sort of get comfortable and just knuckle down and edit. But yeah, at the moment I am just feeling like I am doing a million things at once and not really getting much done. I'm struggling a little bit to find that balance, like it's just in terms of constantly feeling like I am trying to catch up with myself. I say this all the time um, and obviously this month, August, was supposed to be my month where I'm not doing so much and I can finally sort of catch up on the stuff I've missed and then be able to have a normal work week from now on. But for now anyway, I am going to do the usual kind of stuff that I do after I've finished a new piece of work. So I need to take pictures of it, um, scan it into my computer, uh, sort of edit it a bit digitally, neaten it up a bit, clean it up a bit, and um, I get it up on the shop, I maybe write about it on my blog as well, edit the video and get that up on YouTube, and uh, potentially get it up on Society6 as well and also possibly make some stickers out of it. So a lot still to do. I'm feeling tired but a good kind of tired, like very, very pleased with what I've managed to get done today. Okay, um, <laughs> you might be wondering why I'm dressed like this. Um, really can't take myself seriously with glasses on. Uh, 
It is Thursday the 17th of August and it is one of my best friend's birthdays today. Happy birthday Z! And as a tradition every year she has a party and uh, for the last 10 years or so we've been heading out to her family's house in the country to celebrate over the weekend. Um, if you've seen my travel journal page or art journal page in my 30 ways to fill a sketchbook series it's the same house in that so we are heading off tomorrow on friday um a few of us to have dinner and just have a good night's sleep and get up the next morning to set up for the party um and the party is on saturday night and it is themed clearly um the theme is Roald Dahl um so i am going to be lavender from matilda uh so <laughs> god I just put the outfit on now, I've only just got all the elements together so I thought I'd try it on all together um, just to see if it works and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I got these glasses from Amazon, uh, I actually just searched wireframe glasses and these were the first ones that came up. And then this pink t-shirt I already have and then these dungarees, these are also from Amazon, they cost like 14 pounds which is really good i wanted to get like quite baggy oversized ones to make it look a bit more childlike um i also have some frilly socks i don't know if you can see those um but yeah quite a staple for every 90s kid and then the best part hang on i have this guy so this is my salamander um i actually have a couple of options well i say a couple i ordered about eight lizards um, just to find the perfect one so there's this one I like the color of this one I feel like it matches the film but it, he looks very lizardy um, I also have Where is it? this one who I think looks more salamandery but he kind of blends in when he's in the jar so this big plastic jar this is meant for like <laughs> dog treats but I wanted a plastic jar just so it's not too heavy to carry around and I'm also going to fill it up with gin and tonic rather than water just so that I have a reason to be carrying it around all night so yeah super duper excited to be heading off tomorrow um pretty happy with the outfit I think I look quite uh <laughs> quite ridiculous <laughs> but yeah really looking forward to the weekend <laughs> So we got back on Sunday, um, Sunday afternoon, it was the most amazing weekend, I don't even have words to describe it, everyone had such a lovely time and it was just lovely and relaxed and sunny and just perfect, lots of fun and frolicking and all those good things. Um, and then since then I have been kind of not up to much, I haven't drawn anything. Um, it's just been a bit of a weird adjustment being back, even though I was only gone for the weekend. Um, I am quite 
an introverted person. I'm not sure if that is the right definition, but you'll understand what I mean when I explain it. I am someone that kind of struggles a bit with um, social interaction and stuff like that. Like I love being around my friends, um, but it's just social interaction, stuff like that. It kind of takes a lot of energy out of me and I find myself feeling quite drained. So as much as I might enjoy spending time with people, I also do, I really love time to myself, time to recover. Um, let me waving this knife around. Um, however, with that being said, the more time that I do spend with other people, the more I kind of get into it. So by the end of the weekend, I was quite all right, you know, just waking up and there's people right there all the time um, until you go to sleep, basically. I really was all right with that. I kind of settled into being around people by that point. And coming back on Sunday, I came back with Ozzy. He stayed here for a couple of days, um, but he left yesterday. And I live with my mum, but she's not around at the moment. So I've gone from a house full of people to being completely on my own and it kind of left me in a weird place. Um, I mean, nothing terrible, but just like needing to settle back into things. So yeah, I haven't drawn anything. I spent the last day and a half really in bed, just like watching YouTube videos and stuff. And then today I finally sort of got my act together and decided to do something that I knew I'd be able to do. So the first thing was I tidied my room because that's always the first thing I do when I'm coming out of like a laziness phase, I guess, like inactivity and procrastination. The first thing I'll do is tidy my room. It's like hard to get myself to do it, but once I'm doing it, I kind of love it. And then once I have a tidy room, best feeling in the world. Also, I have been working on my website um, I did that today, I took some new pictures for my blog. I wanted to just revamp it. I've been working on, I've been working on it all month, just trying to get it um, nice and fresh and new um, and a bit more polished and professional looking. Uh, so, so that was something that I found was taxing enough for me to feel like I was doing something, but easy enough that I could do it without um, talking myself out of it basically because I'm still in kind of a unproductive mood. So at the moment I'm making dinner, um, it's like eight o'clock at night and I'm starving, but it's really annoying. I went out earlier today to post a couple of orders and I completely didn't think to go out and get some food as well. I just assumed there would be food in the fridge, but there is literally nothing. Um, I've, I've got like enough to make a salad and there are some potatoes in there. Um, so, so far, all I've got for dinner is going to be salad and some chips. Um, I, I think that might just be it. It's weird because they're both like just sides. I feel like I'm missing the main component. But I'm hoping if I can make the salad a bit more substantial, it turn out into quite a nice meal. So yeah, that's what I'm doing now. whipped up some rum and fruit punch and then I've got my salad that's ready now. I've actually got some avocado but just not ripe enough to use today. Um, but yeah, I think it looks good. And then just a couple of minutes until the chips are ready and then I'll be ready to chill and have a quiet night in. Well, it looks good and it smells good. I added some rice to the salad as well, just to bulk it up a bit. Um, part of me still thinks it needs like a burger on the side as well but I think this will do me just fine. Not bad for something thrown together from a very empty fridge. I haven't put makeup on in so long, I can hardly remember what I do anymore. And you're probably watching thinking, who still uses 
brushes for their foundation and not beauty blenders. I do have a beauty sponge, but I find with this foundation, a brush works better to like buff things in. But yeah, I haven't put makeup on since I think, I mean proper makeup, like foundation, since before I went to Mexico, which was in May. But today, I thought I would. Um, it is Sunday and I'm going to Notting Hill Carnival. Pretty much go every year if I can. And yeah, I decided that today would be a makeup day. Um, it's also the first time in a long time that I've had a spot, which is really annoying. But yeah, looking forward to being out. Um, festivities and all that good stuff. Hopefully get a bit of inspiration from the parade and the colours and stuff like that. It's always a good time. Great celebration of like cultures and music and stuff like that. She wants reactions, the captions say never looking back. But that don't include when she think about what we could have had. Yeah. You learn from me, don't drag your feet, no rush your way and you down all day long. Getting out and about among the sights and sounds and smells of carnival really woke me up, like out of my creative slump back into a place of motivation and productivity and within like the two million people that Carnival this year on the stiflingly packed underground I bumped into the most beautiful girl who told me she watched my videos and that was such an encouraging and warming experience if I wasn't sweating profusely crammed like a sardine onto a pat chew train I could have hugged her so my new burst of creativity took me a few days later to Ikea, as it always does, where I bought some new shelving for my desk, which I'll probably show you in a dedicated storage video. And then later that evening I headed out to the theatre with my friend Annie, my boyfriend Ozzy and his parents to see Lady Day at the Emerson Bar and Grill. A great show about Billie Holiday, uh, played by Audra McDonald, who just blew me away with her singing and acting. It was such a beautiful and haunting show. And I thought we'd finish off with the painting that I did that was inspired by it. So I did this in gouache. I have a real-time video up on Patreon of the process, and I'm really happy with it. I feel like this month has been a journey of trying to get back into the swing of things and while I'm still struggling to find a balance with art and life I feel like I've set myself up well for next month in terms of being motivated and feeling creative and inspired. So I hope you enjoy this type of video, um, I'd love to hear some feedback but be nice. Um, there are definitely some things that I would change for next time but obviously there's a brand new thing for me um, so it's all trial and error and it can only get better. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I see through what you want me to believe is the truth.